You've been listening to Unaccompanied Cello, Suite Number no. 6 in D Major, BWV 1012, Allemande and Courant, by Johann Sebastian Bach, as played by Yo Yo Ma. Wait, that's the one! Alright, and welcome to Twitch Makes Games. I'm gonna move you over here. Alright, there we go. Ah. How's, how's this supposed to be set up? That's much better. Ah, so, how's everybody tonight? Ready to make some games? Adam Koval! Hello! Valanus and Fikonspik, thank you for the two month resub. So, first things first. Um, major shout out to El Solan, my latest follower, and of course Valanice, the two, two month resub. So thank you, both of you. If you're wondering what that weird grinding sound is in the background, it's because I have my laundry running. So that's gonna stop pretty soon. And then it's gonna start again when in the break I start my dryer. So sorry about that, but we all have to do laundry. Thank you, Adam. I appreciate your popping in to say good luck, have fun. I hope you too have an excellent evening filled with game making. Dryer hype. Oh, it's winding down. We can hear it. So let's see, real quick, before we get too deep into things. Let's take a look at what we have. What have we done so far? Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to open the scene. So we made a bunch of scripts, a bunch of scripts that do things, but let's take a look. Here we go, Twitch makes games. Bing, so we've got a scene. It's got a splash screen logo on it. If you click, it advances. And then we've got the AI mind disorder, um, Title screen, yeah, and you can start or quit. You can't quit yet, because we've never done that. That's okay. Or, we can hit start. Starting brings us to the game. Now, these don't do anything yet. Uh, disappointing, but so you have it. If we hit escape, we pause the game. We bring up this little menu. If we hit escape again, we can go back. We can hit continue to go back, or we can hit quit to go out to the start menu. That's what we've got, but we also have some stuff in the background where we're generating minds and then we're generating bodies and we're matching the two of them together. So that's super great. Steven Tenhäuser belongs to body number three. Untaki, Untaki, I see you down there giving me a follow. I do appreciate that. Thank you, my friend. So that's what we've got. We've also got eggnog with rum. Because eggnog is amazing and rum is amazing. And when you put them together, they are both amazing. So we have not been keeping up with our Trello, which means that I'm a little bit confused as to what we need to do this time. So really quick, I'm going to go over to Trello. I'm going to open it, and we're going to make ourselves some tasks. Let's do that. Has anybody out there been working on their own Twitch Makes games? I'm going to bring this over here so that we can all take a look at it. Lorvo says, absolutely right. Sounds and visuals could definitely help to make the game a lot better without doing too much gamey stuff. Absolutely. Let's think. What do we need to, to work on first? Hmm. Last time. Last time we were in the game game flow and, and editing... What was going on there? So next time on Twitch Makes Games, last time we made minds and bodies linked through persons. We made buttons for minds and buttons for bodies. This time we want to populate the names and the clues into the button text 
and get mind and body matching functionality working. So we're going to see if we can make that happen. So, we're going to put that in Trello. I'm going to bring this over to the other screen, and then I'm going to bring up Trello so that I can make myself those tasks. Oh, Yin Lad with that two month resub. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, my friend. What was Vigorian saying? You suck at coding, and because it's so tedious, you don't make a lot of progress. That's fine. It is, it is tedious sometimes. Hi, Real Spy. You've been working on yours on the side. The progress is slow. Progress is slow, man. Slow for me too. That's okay. Um, Trello. Perfect. So. We want to populate names and clues into button text. Populate clues. We want to get mind and body matching functionality working. Okay, we're we're making good progress, you know. Ooh, Speo music. You made some sounds that you feel like they would fit the game. If any mod wants to repost the SoundCloud link, I'm gonna I'm gonna head over to your SoundCloud. We're gonna take a look at this on stream. Oh boy, this is exciting. AI sorter sounds. <laughs> I like it. Oh, nice. That's super fun. Okay, Speo, I love this. It's super awesome, and I want to use it. What you should do is you should go to the subreddit, reddit.com slash r slash silent Osiris, same address that I use everywhere online, and you should post this link there. And I'm going to ask you to cut it into different tracks so that I can have the background hum separate from the different voice commands. And I can have other event-based uh, sound cues that happen over the course of the game. Um, I think it sounds really great, and this is awesome, and I would love to use it. Um, make sure you post it on the subreddit so that I have a permanent record of it in a place that I can find again. Um, and when you post it, please put the name that you want used in the credits the way that you want it used. Um, and I need to go back and find the other people who contributed so far and ask them to give me their name and the way that they want it used in the credits. Bulkazerker with that two month resub, thank you very much. I appreciate that a lot. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna populate names and clues into button text. You'll put a big zip together. Great, thanks, Spew. I'll play it again. Everybody can hear it. Yep, that's super awesome. Super great. Super, super great. All right, I'm going to bring this back over to the other side so that I can have it up while I'm doing other things. Hmm. Yep. Great. Okay. So, how to get that text into there. Okay, so... 
there are I've got a canvas. The game UI has a bunch of buttons. It's got mind buttons, it's got body buttons, and right now there's a set number of them, and I know in the future we're gonna to wanna to adjust that. But for right now, it's fine. Each button has a name and a clue one. These are text fields. And what I wanna do is I want to populate name and clue one with information, so. Take a look at this. I'm going to bring this over and increase the size, as I always do. We initialize, calling once per frame to see if we're pausing the game or not. Look at Systems Nominal by NerdCubed. Hmm. give an idea of atmosphere to build tension and he explains some design choices that I could use. Nice. Good evening, Wolf der Schatten. Thank you for coming by my stream. Hmm, I feel super relaxed this evening. I've already had a little rum, so that might be contributing. Lorvos, the map you made in 2004 for Unreal Tournament has 430 Facebook likes. Imagine if you'd made one map every year since then, buddy. Okay. Bodies, minds, associating minds and bodies. Right, so we iterate through all persons. This is what this is doing iterating through all the persons. And then if there's a mind and a body linked, we generate a linked clue. If there's only one, we generate a red herring clue. Yep, sure. That's all placeholder stuff right now. And then we want to populate the text into the button fields. Wolf Dare Wife remarks that I'm nearing the man bun status. It's going to take a little while longer. Um, I, can, I can pull it back to about here. <laughs> Hang on, let me pull this up so I can see it. I'll do this. I can pull it back to about there. Um, but like the stuff on the sides isn't long enough to get up there yet. It's, I think it's going to be a long and painful process of waiting. Joniosa, thank you for that two-month resub. It's, it fills my heart with gladness to see people deciding that my subscription is worth renewing. All right, let me think. We need to access components. We need to access components by names. Hmm. Unity edit button text, changing the text component via script. I'll bring this over here. Unity get component text. First, we need to get add this import using Unity Engine UI, which we already are. Then you need to declare a text field and later use get component to initialize it. The first Sterling with the two month resub, thank you very much. I'm gonna be the Canadian version of Rolo from Vikings with long hair. So I plan on attending GDC this year. I generally don't go to GDC. Um, it's very expensive, unless you get some sort of, uh, unless you get some sort of scholarship. So I can get all components. Let's take a look at this. 
get components of type type. For each hinge joint joint in hinge joints, joint dot use spring. So component, let's go up there. Get components of type type in the game object. Now, here's a question. Here's a question for us. Are these game objects? Yes, they are. Because they're not components. Right. These are game objects with a text script field on them. Uh, so, I need to get game objects. That's really what I need to do. Lorvos is saying, if you need any free art assets, you could give that a go. Also, you're sure some designers in chat. Yes, at some point, I'm gonna put out a specific request for art assets, and then I'm gonna start putting stuff into game Game object dot get components. Find a game object by name and returns it. Let's see. Game object. Get component in children. Is there a get children? Get component in children. Get components in children. Send a message. Send message upward. Game object. A static layer. Hmm. Let's see. Get child game object. Here's an interesting thing. How can I find a child game object in Unity 3D? Game object dot find child game object. Yeah. To search for a game object from a parent, use transform. Transform.find child. Interesting. Child count, the number of children the transform has. Get child. Turn the transform index child is child of. dot find a child. Is that even a thing? Find a child is not a thing. Ooh, maybe it's a JavaScript thing. Nope. Hmm. Get component in children works the same as get component. True. Finds a child by name and then returns it. There we go. I think that's what I want. I want transform.find and then the name of the child. What duff? Thank you for that two month resub. I see you putting my face emotes to good use already. Cheers to you, my friend. Okay, I think transform.find child name. Finds a child by name. But I don't really want, I don't want to do that for all mines, of course. I'm going to do that for each button, button, in all buttons. What is it? 
Didn't I make a button array? Right, yes. I made a mind buttons array and a body buttons array. So mind buttons and body buttons. Reach. Button, button, and mind buttons. Mind buttons. Uh, let's say name object. Game object and name object equals button dot transform dot find name. Uh, game object clue one obj equals button dot transform dot find. What's the name of the clue game object? Clue one. I did a good job of naming these things. For button button and mind buttons, yeah, that's pretty good. We could try Twitch makes a mod next to do something that's more exciting playable. Though, I also like this because it shows how low level things can get. Yes. And I think by the end of doing this, we're going to have something that we can feel really proud of. Okay. So then... Okay, now I have name object and clue object under this button. So int i equals zero. And then this will be i plus plus. That's the sort of thing that we're going to do. OK. So good. Hmm. For future episodes, how about a text-based West Marches adventure? That could be a lot of fun to do something in Twine that's West Marchian. The default graphic is called text. I wonder if that's what we want to use, though. Text component. Let's see. Text component. Oh my. What was all that? Slighting! A new sub. Welcome to the sub team. I'm glad you're enjoying the evenings. 
evenings, fun activities. All right, so here's the text component. Text element, visual components, property, text. Does that mean we could change the dot text of that thing? Hmm. The Sith roll was about to say, a visual-less game would not justify the feel of the West Marches, and then they realized all of the West Marches is just spoken text, spoken word. Okay, so it's got a text script component, and it's got a text property. Hmm. Then like name object dot get component. Text. Let's say dot text. equals uh whoops Save it? Who knows? F8. Right, good. A local variable named i cannot be declared in this scope because it would give a different meaning to i, which is already used in a child scope. Let's just make it int n. Okay, save it, and then F8, and there's other problems. Cannot implicitly convert type unity engine dot transform to unity engine dot game object. Uh, Tourney master bot. So what we're doing is I'm trying to take the buttons that I have and take their text where they had they have a name and a clue and I want to populate the name and the clue with a name and a clue that I got from another game object. So here we've got button mind number one and it's got a name and a clue and each of these has a text component and what I want to do is I want to change this field the text property so that it is populated with names that I've generated and clues that I've generated. I've already found the game object. Button dot find work and selectable done. Yes, I do have the transform of the game object, not just the game object. You think that field is called label? Let's see about that. Label. GUI dot label. Make a texture texture label on the screen. Hmm. Doesn't seem quite like the same thing, I have to say. 
I think I've pretty clearly established that that field is the text parameter of the text component on a game object. So follow me on this, right? This object here, that's a game object. It has a rec transform, a canvas renderer. It also has a text script component. And then the text component has a text parameter. Sencho might be giving me the solution here. Button dot get component in children text dot text equals doodle do. I think that's close, Sencho. I think you're very close. But I'm focusing on this button, right? If I get component in children text, then each of these has a text component. So I'm getting both of them. I think I need to get the children. Button dot components and children. Get components and children. Hmm. Game object dot find. Nman CC runner seventeen. I'm gonna let someone in chat fill you in since I actually just very recently gave an overview of what I'm trying to do, and I'm I'm deep in the work at the moment. Kilakenka, thanks for hanging out. See ya. Get some good sleep. This is actually C sharp. Okay, so I've got a button. This button has children. The children have a text component. Okay. Find child game object. Unity. Yeah, Stack Overflow says to search a game object from a parent, use transform. But that returns the transform not the game object. How to get the child game object of a parent and not the transform. Solve it this way. Oh god. Current game current game object dot transform dot find name dot game object. Let's give that a shot. Dot find name dot game object. That seems terrifying. Okay, save that and then build. Okay, what is this? Right, transform. Okay, save, build. That's good. So now we've got the name object and the clue one object, and they're stored, and now we can edit their text components. So what is this saying? Hi, Kiska, come here. Come here. Oh yeah, it's cat cam time for just a brief moment. Here we have the wild cat in her natural habitat, the living room chair. Her ears are all hurt, scratched them up all good. Huh. Poor baby, I know. All right, now we're back. Okay, I think we're getting close. I think we're getting pretty close here. Type or namespace n could not be found. Why does it think it's a namespace? That's a method which is not valid in the given context. Ah. Maybe that's what I need to do? Yes. Now there's only four errors. The type. Oh, 
all mine n. n is supposed to be an index, int n equals 0. All minds, all bodies. Hmm. So I'm trying to find the mind at the index n of all minds. Let's see. Unity list index. How do you get a certain index of a list? Unity answers. Doop, doop, doop. Hmm. Finding index of item in the list. I don't want the index of. Let's uh, let's take a look more seriously over here. List. Asset list. 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 Hmm. Okay, sharp list. There we go. Here's what I've been looking at a couple of times. Arctic Northwest is saying you believe that it's brackets. I believe that might be true. Find index, find index, that's all. Research add, mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I think it might just be brackets instead of pointy faces. Let's give that a shot and then F8 that. Hey, check it out. And then N, save F8. Okay, great. Harry you one, two, three, thank you for that follow. Sencho says, to everyone programming, they highly recommend a program called Zeal, which is an offline documentation that supports a lot of languages, including Unity 3D's C Sharp and JavaScript. Okay, well, this is good. So for each button, we find the name and the clue, game object. And then for the name object, we get the component. And for the clue one OBJ, we get component text dot text. And we set it to all minds n dot clue first. Okay, I think we are ready to start this thing running and see if anything happens. How are you, 123? What is your one question? Oh, something happened. What happened? Why did it stop? <gasps> I think that it worked and then I accidentally clicked it again. Okay, bloop. Look at that. Look at that. There we go. We did it. Good, good job. Freddy Krueger, body number one. John Norson, body number two. It me JP McBeal, body number three. Ryan Rando, no clue because there is no clue for Ryan Rando. And Sherlock Rando, no clue for him. So that's fantastic. We have successfully changed the text. On the things. Victory! Ha ha! So good job! Thank you to everybody who is following along. <laughs> Leafington, you're seeing Dale on nine. Yinlad, no, your suggestions are not getting annoying. It's totally fine. Oh, 
The only problem with what you're suggesting is that I don't necessarily know the size of the array, though I could just, I could always just get the size. You're right. Technically right, which is the best kind of being right. But I'm happy enough to have this doing it this way. I feel like I'm going to keep it going on. Holy butt wipe. Thank you for the follow. All right. Array.count will always return the size of the array. Exactly. It's a list, but I, I'm sure there's a list dot count or list dot how many or something. Okay, so that's good. Now I want to do the same thing for bodies. That's going to be super easy operation, pretty much copy and paste. So, good. Juke, 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 juke. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. Body buttons. For each button button in body buttons. Game object dot name object equals button transform find name game object. Clue object. So this is all bodies. Now, bodies don't have a first name and a last name. They do have a clue, don't they? Bodies. Bodies have a my mind. Huh. So what we want is we want body plus n. That's what we want. F8. Okay, local variable named n is already defined in this scope, so we're just gonna set it back to zero. Okay, build it. Beautiful, ready, go. <sighs> Done. Look at that. We're great, good job. <laughs> okay. So now we've got body number one, mind number one. Nicholas Hammond, mind number two. Christoph Skywalker, body number three. Kiska Ritchie and Natalie Withman. Ah, well, that's, that's exciting, that's good progress. Um, that means that we've done what we set out to do. Where'd it go? Went over here. Come over. So, we have populated clues into button text, check. We have populated names into button check, text, check. Now we're gonna get mind body matching functionality working. Smoldering knife, you've never watched this before, but you're very happy that what I was doing was successful, whatever it was. Natalie Withman sounds like she's not single. Indeed. Oops, I totally forgot to tweet that Twitch makes games was making games now. Ha. as of like 45 minutes ago, lol. Okay, so. Overwatch first invitation only beta weekend begins November 20th. What? Hang on. Invite only a lot more players. Oh my God. Stress testing hardware. Oh my. Maybe I will finally get to play Overwatch. U-Track from JetBrain is a really handy tool to track your to-do list bugs and when you do features. Free for small projects like mine. Thanks, Tourney Masterbot. U-Track. Hmm. I've been using Trello so far, so far, which, like, it's not ideal, but it works so far. But uh, U-Track, I'll have to I'll have to take a note of that. 
You track. Pulling it up on my second monitor over here. JetBrains, you track. Issue tracking and project management tool. There it is. Thanks for the tip, Turning Master Bot. It's like Trello, but for programming. Get mind body matching functionality. Okay. Has ever watched the opposite of Undertale? Probably, yeah. Dalon Nine holds his butt. Good job, Dalon Nine. You hold on to that butt. It's a problem when you want to like chug your eggnog because it's delicious, but then you remember there's rum in there and you don't want to chug a lot of rum very quickly. Marky Boy 101 is asking if Harlequins are going to be an eternal crusade. That's it's it's been a long time since you asked me that on Twitter, Marky Boy 101. I'm actually no longer on Eternal Crusade and haven't been for about 9 months now. Um but I, so I don't know. But it sounds like they might get Eldar in before the end of the year. Good night, Yin lad. Thank you for hanging out, my friend. Yeah, and these days, Marky Boy 101, I am working on a game called Roller Coaster Tycoon World for a company called Invisio. It's going really well, and I'm having a great time doing it. Okay, let me think. So, we've got a list of buttons that tell me the names of the minds that they are kind of linked to. Ah. Oh. This is going to be a challenge. Hi, baby, come here. Oh, as Miracle of Sound would say, chug a mug of mead. Indeed, chug a mug of mead. <laughs> well, Marky Boy, there are a number of excellent level designers still working on Eternal Crusade. You should check out some YouTube videos on it and see if it's still interesting to you. I think they've been doing a really good job since I've left. So you should definitely go check that out. Okay, so interestingly, we've created... We've created buttons. And the buttons have text on them that tells me which mind and which body the button is referring to. So there's no explicit link. There's no sort of attachment between a mind or a, uh, or a or a body and its button. Well, if they're shot and you're eating lunch, where do you live that it's lunchtime? Japan. Thank you for hanging out on your lunch break, though. Okay. We have a challenge. We have a challenge, of course. You live in Missouri. Yes. I see that you work late. Enjoy your evening, your evening's work. Japan, Missouri, you know, same thing. Yeah, Sencho, I generate clues, but they're super placeholder clues. They just say body number two, body number three at the moment. They're super placeholder. Really, I'm just, just building out the basic functionality of the, the system. Okay, let me think. Is there a way that I can either... I want to... I want to attach a mind or a body 
to a button so that the button has an explicit reference to it. Something like that. Or I could just, uh, Well, now wait a minute, because I know that, I know the index of the button in its list is the same as the index of the mind in its list. So even though there's no direct link, I know that when I find this button in all buttons list and I get the index of its location, then the mind that it belongs to is that mind at that same index in the all minds list. All right, I think we're okay. Create a button that is filled with the last mind and body selected. When you select match, it looks into an index. Cool link, that sounds like a pretty solid idea. You can create a class that contains a button, a mind object, and a body object. Definitely make the hard link. Your index strat gets destroyed easily. Yeah, you're really right, Tourney Master Bot. <laughs> yeah, okay, so... Um, so really what I want to do is I want to add to my person class. I want to add a, a button. My button equals the button. <laughs> button the button <laughs> variable names <laughs> public button uh, my button <laughs> okay now a person is a mind body and button so now now when I when I Hmm. Benjamin button. We could have a Benjamin button. We absolutely could. That's very true. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I generate persons. Ikuori, Ikuori, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it, my friend. So here, once we have, so once we've created the minds and we've created the bodies, and then we associate minds and bodies into persons, then we generate linked clues and red herring clues. Oh, interestingly, we're not generating red herring clues. Hmm. Something is wrong with this. Let me make a note. Uh, in fact, let's go back to Trello and make a bug. So, bug. Red herring clues are not generating into minds. Okay, now we've got a mind. Hey this alumnus, thanks for coming by. It's been a little while. Things are a little new around here. I'm getting ready to go to break in, in about five minutes, but until then we're gonna keep cracking on this problem. So for each button, button, button. So this is where we associate No, this is debug logging mind stuff. This is buttons. This is where we add names to buttons. Tip from Tourney Master Bot, adding to do will typically create a task in your editor that you can double click by 
jumping to the item to do really save whatever just writing to do creates a task in my editor maybe i'm doing something wrong turning master bot that sounds awesome but i don't think i'm quite getting it right okay so hang on You're gonna pull up Mono Develop real quick. Thanks. Appreciate that. That would be useful. Now, okay, we can't use persons for this because person is the link between mind and body. What we want is a link between button and mind and then another link between button and body. So what we need is we need some sort of buttons class. Okay, nope, we're gonna delete the button. The button is gone. That's gone, that's gone. Public class. Uh, what do we call it? Link button. Public class link button. Boop, 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 boop. Wait. Link button. Public link button. Public link. Uh, mind, the mind, body, what? No. Why, why would you do that? Body. The body. Button. The button. My mind equals the mind. My body equals the body. Yes. My button equals the button. And then public mind, my mind. People are saying things in chat. I'm not looking at it yet, which means that I'm gonna do all this and then I'm gonna look over and then y'all gonna be like, no, don't do it that way. Do it this other better way. And I'm gonna be like, well, shit, now I've done it this way. Okay, save, F8. Everything is not broken. Excellent. Mobster Squirrel, I'm glad you appreciate the beard. Okay, so MonoDevelop is all caps. To do, bug, fix me, hack, and undone. How interesting. I'm going to give that a shot. To do. Oh, wow, look at that. Blammo. Or I'm going to say bug. You can find your own under Tools, Tasks. You can show your tasks by clicking View, Pads, Tasks. Um, bug is not working, but I will put To Do here. View, Pads, Tasks. Look at that, awesome, Alt-Shift-T. Uh, that didn't seem quite right. Adds Alt Shift T. Should show tasks. Weird. Whatever. Ah, it brings it up but doesn't send it away. And then I can just up click that and it goes straight to it. That's really cool. Thanks, Turning Master Bot. Okay, what else are people saying? I've got you in the mood for eggnog, but you don't have any. Holy butt wipe, that is a serious problem. Mind the mind. Sounds like a metaphor. Meliox 12. You are very true. This is some deep shit. You bet it is, Smoldering Knife. 
Staves has arrived. Hello, Cross Staves. Ah, oh, who had to leave the Sithril? Thanks for hanging out for a while, the Sithril. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our first break. We've done a bunch, just to recap. We've made good progress. When I click, whoops, play now. <laughs> awesome. We got Nika Nightsass, which goes into body number one. Now we gotta fix that. Natalie Skywalker, which goes into body number two. And Bregor Ross, which goes to body number three. Nicholas Hart and Carl Lake don't have a red herring clue yet. Well, we're gonna fix that. And currently we don't have a way to assign them together. Okay, hang on. I want to do this really quick. N plus one. Save and then. Uh, I wonder if that's going to do what I expect it to. Probably not. It's probably going to concatenate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's concatenating. Okay, hang on. Ugh. So then I want like the int num equals n plus one. And then I'm just going to put num here. There. Use parens. If I use parentheses there, then it actually doesn't concatenate, it calculates. Okay, so bottom number one, bottom number two, bottom number three, Stephen Hart. Uh -huh. Nice, parentheses, n plus one will be an integer. Nice, I'm gonna do that because that is a lot cheaper, or it feels cheaper than declaring a new variable. Look at that, perfect. Turning master bot, you rule. Thank you for the help. This time we've got Natalie Polsky, John McBeal, it me JP Cena, Bregger Koble, and Ryan Norvasser. Ah, oh, this is amazing. Okay, so we've done some good stuff here this evening so far. We're gonna keep going and see how far we can get with actually making the matchup between the minds and the bodies. Now we've got the mind buttons, we've got the body buttons. Now we just gotta say, okay, I've selected a mind button, I've selected a body button, I've hit merge, and it was either successful or it wasn't. That's what we wanna do. Whew. We're getting close. We're getting really close to actually having a playable game. And then we've just gotta like do the, the work to make the puzzle part of it come out. And then we've, We've made the functional game. Um, then we're gonna add all sorts of flashy, you know, sprites and sounds and stuff to make it seem real. Fargonautic, thank you for hanging out. Have a wonderful evening. Uh, before I go away, huge shout out to Solomus Black, my latest follower, and the Sly Tank, my latest subscriber. Seriously appreciate the both of you and your support of the stream. So I'm going to go for about five minutes, stretch my legs, get up, pet the cat. I encourage all of you to also get up and stretch your legs since that's healthy. And then we'll come back and we'll, we'll do another 50 minutes or so of Twitch Makes Game.